Hey Libra. These readings are for anyone who identifies as a Libra at this time. Sun, moon, rising, or otherwise. Of course, we are at the end of August 2019 as I am recording your readings, Libras. That's why I'm doing two for you. But we are at the start of Virgo season 2019. Virgo season just started yesterday as I'm recording. So for some, uh, this reading may apply to the entirety of August. For others, it will be more uh, specific to the second half, the end of, and for a lot of you, it may even see you through Virgo season. But the readings are also for whenever they might find you. We have a couple of cards starting to fall out, Libras, but before we get started with your general reading, before we dig into it, I do want to say thank you so much for supporting the channel in all the ways that you do uh, by liking the video, commenting, sharing, um, tipping, donating, ordering readings, and of course by subscribing if you have not already. If you are interested in a personal reading from me, just scroll down to the description box below. My name is A's. The email address you will find there is lunaticstarot at gmail.com. And you can also find uh, all of the links that you might need to order those. So far, Libras, I see the Empress, the Six of chalices, the five of pentacles is actually showing up as a piece of advice for you to seek support from others at this time, Libras. Heading toward a future position of the night of fire here. Mystic energy speeding toward enlightenment, attracting like-minded individuals, kindred spirits. Through work, through working hard, showing dedication to that which you are working on, even if they are long hours, even if it seems to be monotonous and repetitive. Um, a good friend once said to me that uh, the meat and potatoes the um, hefty portion of, of what um, any hard worker is concentrating his or her efforts on, uh, even an artist, and he was. Um, <clears throat> the meat and potatoes is, is work that you have to do alone, and a lot of it um, might not be the... Um, a lot of it might not be the... the um, shiny, glossy, fun part of the gig, right? Even if it is artistry. And I do see a lot of you working with your hands here. And, and I do think that you are going to see greater success in that which you are working on, but you need to seek support and you need to be patient if you really want to see this through. You are experiencing the beginning of success, but the beginning of success and succeeding by definition requires... Um, finishing a stretch of work, continuing to apply yourselves. Um, and so, you know, it, it may be taking longer than you'd like, but again, greater success is coming. The rewards uh, that come after succeeding are not the same thing as the act of succeeding where we are still working. We are still doing that final stretch of work, right? I think a lot of you are, are doing this work, um, doing a, a kind of work that is, is artistry. It, it is uh, creative work. Uh, and or the work of a healer. It's healing work in some respect, and art art is. You're healing others through your creations. And yourself in turn, Libras. Right? Healing others heals us. The 
You're showing up as the Empress. You're showing up as a creator, and again, spe maybe specifically a creative, right? Or a healer. You are birthing a project into the world. You are creating something to share with others, creating something uh, to help you heal others that will he heal others. Simultaneously, you're feeling nostalgia. You're having fond memories of someone and or a soulmate-like um, interaction, relationship in your life, which doesn't necessarily mean a romantic partner, of course. You could have soul ties, soul bonds, a soulmate in um, many people, friends, family members. And <laughs> Libra, I know you are feeling very capable, but you would like to see your hard work pay off as soon as possible, right? You would, you're ready to be patient, but uh, you would like to see the success start to grow uh, sooner and faster if you could help it, I'm sure. And these memories, this nostalgia, this soulmate-like connection that is either coming to mind, resonating in your mind, or actually present in your life, someone that you're interacting with, okay? Um, it's for a reason. Uh, it's 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 for a reason. It's all happening at once for a reason, right? Uh, nothing is is coincidence here. Uh, I think that uh, uh, simultaneously there are exceptions to every rule, right? But um, normally there are no coincidences, and usually I should say, and. You have this hard stretch of work to finish in order to see success at the same time that you're having this soulmate-like connection. Again, either coming to mind, resonating in your mind, you're being reminded of someone that you could reach out to for support, or they're really around you. You're interacting with them. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean a romantic partner, but whoever that connection is, whoever that nostalgia, those fond memories are, are, are uh, with, you're advised to seek support. Again, there's a reason why this person is, is in your life or in your mind, in your thoughts or in your surrounding environment, um, and you feel such a soulful connection with them at the same time that you would like to see your hard work pay off and your success finally come to fruition. You, you need to seek support at this time and, and, and I'm, from, from that type of, of connection in your life, from that type of person, that type of individual. Showing up as the empress, um, you very well may be the creative who needs some structure, some discipline introduced into their routine. Um, that, that jives with me. Um, it, it connects back to what's on the bottom of the deck for us um, underneath of the seven and eight of pentacles. If you are the creative type or a healer, you very well may, may fall into that category where you are creating and nurturing your creation, um, birthing it into the world, uh, but but you may be um, in need of someone who can, again, introduce some structure, some discipline into your routine, into whatever it is that you're working on, your art, your business, etc., your new vocation. And if there is no way that you can seek support from this person that you are having these fond memories of, if they are no longer in your life, it's impossible for you to seek support from that individual that you're feeling nostalgic for, then it's showing up that is coming to mind at this time in your life because you know you need, again, that type of connection, that type of support, uh, support from that kind of person in your life. If you don't see anyone that you want to reach out to, when we see the five of earth show up, it's also a time when you may look to the divine for help, ask for what you need. If there is no one around you that you trust or think you can ask, uh, you can always ask the divine. And, and, and then I see you headed straight toward, as I said, um, enlightenment and kindred spirits and like-minded individuals. So if you seek that support, ask for that support, accept that support, um, then it's going to bring more enlightenment, more kindred spirits, more like-minded individuals into your lives, Libra. And I truly suspect uh, escalate the rate at which this success comes in and this hard work here pays off for you. Network, connect. 
And for some of you, it is just that you need to accept help that is already being offered. You are already receiving a gift, an offer from an admirer, maybe from someone from your past. Um, and, and you just need to um, know that you are in, in need of, of support in some way and to accept it. Some of you, it is an investment that you need. Some of you, it's just um, moral support that you need. Some of you just need um, the energy of that kind of a friend. Again, that type of a connection to motivate you, to bounce ideas off of, to switch your energy up switch your train of thought up enough that you have other ideas about how to to organize your work right but for a lot of you it is that that someone else could help you by introducing some some structure and some discipline so i hope the needed insight was able to reach you there in your first reading your general reading libras and with that we will move on to your second reading which um, I have not even told you yet, is going to be a, uh, a love reading for you. More specifically, um, sort of zeroed in, right, on on your, your love life. And when I say that, what comes to mind for me is um, romantic connections, but it could be any type of love in your life. That's really up to you how you come to that love reading. This deck that we use for your general read is the Deviant Moon Tarot, which I truly love, but I think we will change decks for your love reading Libras. That way, if anything um, shows up again for us, we'll know it's not from a lack of shuffling or anything like that. And just because I also really love to use this deck, the Game of Thrones Tarot deck. If you are interested in uh, either of these decks or any of the decks I use in Lunatics Tarot readings, just scroll down to the description box. Again, um, information on that can be found there as well. <clears throat> Libras, what came through for you as far as your love reading? before recording when I was shuffling and meditating with the deck um, with the decks was uh, actually um, Pisces 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 kept coming through so I know I know a lot of you are dealing with a Piscean energy as far as your love life is concerned or um, grappling with Piscean energy in your own chart concerning your love life. For some of you, um, a, a Piscean energy is what you're looking for. Uh, and you are just um, not aware of that. Maybe a Pisces Venus is the type of, yeah, a lot of physical confirmation about that is the type of partner for some of you. Um, or, or Pisces of, 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 of some, some type. I was just thinking Pisces, Venus immediately because of, you know, a love reading, right? Venus. So far, uh, Libra, as we see the four of earth showing up, showing that you are trying to hold on to something. But the three of air is also showing up, telling us that some miscommunication, some disapp disappointing communication, perhaps a three-party situation, um, maybe even a heartbreaking situation is making it difficult for you to do that, I think. Hold on to what it is that you have. For some of you, what's happening is that you are trying to hold on to your independence, but the person you are interested in ha is being honest about the fact that they have other interests and other options as well. And so you're feeling uh, maybe like you need to make a commitment uh, in order to hold on to them. It's going to be different for everyone, though. Some of you 
um, it's it's that a three party situation is what uh, may be taking someone away from you that you're trying to hold on to, um, who who you've already committed to, you've already been with, right? We do see the Knight of Fire showing up on the bottom of the deck. So that's the second time we've seen the the Knight of Fire. So again. Um, mystic energy speeding toward enlightenment um again this energy of your own enlightenment attracting your new energy that you then possess and vibrate with at um once you 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 become a little more enlightened once you you do some self-development work grow a little bit from this situation uh attracting again kindred spirits and like-minded individuals which we did see in in the first reading right at the end of the first general reading so for those of you who are trying to hold on to to someone too tightly um you know that's exactly how they slip through your fingers right and and it may not be something that you should be holding on to anyway um, if it is a three-party situation that has, has hurt you deeply, Libras. Uh, bear in mind, the reading is saying, bear in mind that you are headed toward, in the not-so-distant future, um, some, some kindred spirits and like-minded individuals that are all new to you, and, and perhaps in that group of individuals, you will start to see um, how, how other energies are better matches for you, at least this new version of you. Um, and and even if it's just a, a heartbreaking situation or a miscommunication, uh, disappointing communication, the lack of communication, and not actually a three-party situation, it still may be we still may be looking at the fact that you feel the need to try to hold on so hard and to try to overcome this miscommunication for the same reason that you're running into such disappointing miscommunications. Uh, because, because again, there are other energies that would match you both better. Um, that, that is not to suggest a decision for you or make a decision for you. I'm definitely at a, at, a, at a distance from this. The, and I know that it's specifically different from for, for, for each Libra. But the reading, the message is just saying overall you are headed toward uh, people who, who think the way you do and, um, you know, who, who kindred spirits uh, who vibe with you, who vibe with you and who will continue growing with you, which is what you have to have in, in, in a loving relationship, especially a romantic relationship, especially in a, a romantic partnership. Right, Libras? Um, so, okay, for a lot of you, what we are actually uh, looking at, many messages coming through, is that you've already begun to attract like-minded individuals and kindred spirits to you. Perhaps your partner has as well, right? One or both of you have. And that may be how the three-party situation or some sort of disappointing miscommunication arises. It could be because these other like-minded energies have been introduced, uh, which making you feel very much like you have to, to be defensive. And your advice card is actually the seven of fire to stand up for what you believe in. So for some of you, this is to defend that relationship to fight off suitors is something that I can see in this, this card, especially this depiction, um, and to fight for your relationship. And in which case the, the, um, the message is to focus more on clear, honest, open, loving, kind communication rather than focusing on trying to hold on tightly to what it is that you have okay for those of you who are trying to hold on to your independence again the advice is to stand up for what you believe in for those of you who are running into um, possibly a heartbreak in love uh, because of 
miscommunications with this person, um, fights with this person, a, a um, scene oppositely on your beliefs, or them having introduced a third party into the relationship, right? Stand up for you. Stand up for what you believe is right, what you believe that you need in a re relationship, what you believe you deserve in a partner, what you believe the connection is worth and how you believe it should be treated. So you can see how it just it's going to just differ slightly for each um, individual Libra. For those of you that are going through a heartbreaking situation with someone you're trying to hold on to. Um, you are either headed toward a different divine partnership or the realization that this person is uh, a, a divine partnership for you. This can of often be a twin flame card for me, but... Um, so as not to get specifically into uh, the nitty gritty of twin flames, because I believe that journey can be different for everyone, very different for everyone. Um, <clears throat> uh, I really have started to view it really just as a divine partnership, whatever label you put on it, a soul match, a soul mate, a, a twin flame, right? You're headed toward that. So for those of you who um, have already begun to attract those those other kindred spirits into your life, into your circle, and you're, you're feeling that the right thing to do is defend your relationship, stand up for it, fend off those, those other suitors, you may be headed toward a place of realizing that you're, you're in a divine partnership or you want to be, that's who this person is for you, and, and, and heading toward putting whatever label it is that you will on it, right? <clears throat> for those of you that are having uh, fights with this person and heartbreak with this person because They've introduced someone else into the situation or um, you're not seeing eye to eye on your beliefs and you feel you need to stand up for you and what you really want in a partner. Again, keep in mind that when you head toward these like-minded individuals and kindred spirits, you very well may find one that is the divine partner for you. And I can tell you that you, you will find one who is a divine partner for you eventually it, all it is that i'm saying here is that some of you it's the it's the very near future that's happening right so don't deprive yourself of that i think it will be someone that uh you work with uh, those of you who do work that you love to do you have a hobby um creative project or just always you know, spend your life doing work you love to do it'll be someone that you work with that you collaborate with uh, and, and it may be a necessary collaboration, not a playful one. Others of you will be luckier. It will be a more playful collaboration. For some of you, this person that's breaking your heart currently has been in and out of your life. They come in quickly, they leave quickly, in and out, in and out, and you're, you're just trying to keep them still, trying to, to hold them still, to keep them with you, to hold on to it. And they, some of them do have someone else or, or others of you, it's just breaking your heart that they can't, they can't or won't stay, that they, they, they come and they leave, they come and they leave. Um, <clears throat> again, in that scenario, I really see this as... Um, you need to stand up for what you know you need, what you know will make you happy. Stand up for the search or the or um, having the patience to wait for divine timing to bring in a divine partner for you. I see it on the horizon. I see you um, planning for your future, taking the first step in a new direction, having control of your free will and so your 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 destiny, having power for powerful potential in your choices that are, are shaping that that future and destiny and I see the message that uh, to continue to wait for this person to show up for you in a way that that they haven't before and it doesn't seem like they're going to that they're at least uh, ready to at this time right um, is to deprive yourself of an opportunity is to say no to an offer um, of attracting these 
you know, giving yourself a chance to attract these kindred spirits and like-minded individuals in. Um, you're missing an opportunity to meet a divine match for you, I think. Frankly, we, we are here because ultimately it's hard for you to carry the truth. It will be hard for you to carry the truth that something didn't work out um, with this person, that you couldn't make things work with this, this person. Ultimately, you're just finding that it's hard to, to deliver the truth to them that you have to be finished or hard to... Um, and or hard to carry and wield and know, live with the truth yourself that that they are not going to be in the picture any longer, that you never did get what you wanted or needed from them. But as I said, sometimes it's just that they're not ready yet. Um, you may sense this person's potential, sense who they can be, sense who they will be, and feel such a deep soulful connection to that, that it's almost confusing for you to admit that they aren't that person yet. And that is the type of energy that you need now. Right? So Libras, with that, I, I hope that the needed insight again was able to reach you. I told you about private reading information being in the description. I hope that you all continue to make wise choices for yourselves uh, that move you forward. And I love you Libras and I will post another reading for you as soon as I can.